hyperbole or hyperbole, extreme exaggeration. James, you have a doozy for us. I do have a doozy, and I'm afraid it might not be hyperbole. I think he might actually mean it. But here is Noel Pearson talking at the very rushed through, it's almost as if they have something to hide, hearings that they had <laughs> on The Voice earlier this week or last week in Parliament House. Have a listen. So this is an enhancement of the democracy, not, a, not an affront to it. You get to decide which of the advice you take on board and which you reject. It's the listener who gets to decide what's compelling about the voice. We provide the voice, you get to determine which parts of it you listen to. Yeah. No, well, he actually good. also that's, said that's that if, really, if, if really? the voice failed no. to get up, the country would face endless protest, he foresaw. That's endless protest, early. which yes. sounds to me like a real voice of reconciliation there. And, and also, yeah. if the first part of we heard, if that's the case, why would you have it? What's the point? What's yeah, the, but this, we yeah. already have this, this, hundreds this. of advisory bodies who tell us things. Ah, Unless they're not you in actually, the Constitution. Well, yeah, you're not giving enshrining in the Constitution and giving the opportunity to go to the High Court. That's the difference. Exactly. But also, if you're threatening endless protests, that's basically you're saying, if you vote no to the voice, we are not going to accept your decision. So that's what, what that's, what that's all about. It's a Marx, neo-Marxist threat. It's, yeah, exactly. Make of it what you will.